Man, I was just rummaging through the yard here this morning. We're headed down to a job site. It's super early right now. And shout out Milwaukee with this light, dude. Look at this thing. Like, that is insanely bright. And then you can switch it. You could just have the spot, or you could have both on like that. Man. Anyways, I had a lot of you guys asking in the last video about the light and who makes it. It's Milwaukee. I'll put all that stuff down below. Not paid to say that. All right, so what I'm doing here right now is just making sure I have all my gear for today, which I don't. I'm missing a cord. Oh, I hate whenever you lose stuff. Man, I don't know what I did with that cord. Anyways, all right. Other than me losing my mind, uh, we're going down and doing something super, super, super cool today. We have a massive retaining wall project, which I teased in the end of the boat ramp video for you guys. And we're actually going down there this morning to pour the concrete and we're using a massive concrete boom truck. And we've never used something like that before. So it's going to be pretty interesting. <laughs> All right, we are down here now at the uh, retaining wall project. Over there is where we actually completed the boat ramp project. Just on the other side, there's a the long stick shovels. So scope of work today is using that boom truck. We're waiting on the concrete truck. He's gonna show up with a special speck of concrete. We've got Corey here. Anything quick, spiel, you wanna say about the job? We're starting pouring concrete a meter thick. Well, we're going 1.1 meters thick, pretty close, all the way across, and we gotta let that dry for three days. And we're gonna put some water stop in between the seams and pour another one meter lift okay. in that. And then we start rebuilding our block wall and putting the wall blocks back and we fill that up with concrete as well once the blocks are in. Okay, so as for right now, you guys are just pumping out this water then? Yeah. So we got a two inch trash pump down there and we're pumping out the water for the concrete. And we're gonna be starting here and working our way down. All right, concrete showed up. This is truckload number one of seven. Uh, they all hold, hold 10 cubic meters, I believe. I'm thinking meters, not feet, and we need 70 cubic meters. So this is truckload number one of seven. They are going to monitor the engineers. There's like three engineers here and there's four of us here. So the engineer to worker ratio is really good today, but they're gonna start dumping into the pumper truck. And then Jesse's gonna be on the other end, just basically mass pouring it in. There's nothing special about it. Just pouring it right in, get the job all done. It's pretty interesting. So as corrected, this truck is nine cubic meters and it's 30 MPA with fibers added and crystalline admixture. So like I said, the first truck, he is going to be testing it. That's one of the engineers that's gonna be testing it. So he's taking two buckets full of concrete and he's gonna be running it through and doing some tests on it. Maybe we'll ask him what kind of tests he's doing on it. Can I ask you what kind of tests you're, you do? And with uh, yeah, so we're doing a, a slump test. Okay. So I'll pour it into here. We'll take the temperature. So I'll make sure I have it in here. Okay. And then we'll be doing an air test. Oh, look at this. We got a uh, Britannia Beach mountain lion. Look at that. Okay, so what he's saying is that our temperature passed, it's good. Um, the slump test, that cone that he did, it's high. It's at 155 and it should be between 60 and 100. And then he just checked the airs and I think it checks it in KPA and it's at the higher end of what it needs to be. 
So what they're gonna do is just keep spinning it in the truck so that that slump test passes and we'll keep going from there. But this is the process, man. It's not just pouring concrete on a pad. This is so special, this type of concrete. Uh, and it has to be perfect and the engineers have to sign off on it before we start pumping it into the walls. Okay, so that first truck, they did a second test on it and it failed. Um, so it's got to go back and I was just saying to Corey, I'm not sure what they would do with it. But anyways, we got another truck that just pulled up here. We'll test this truck, see if it's good and then we'll start pouring. Okay, so I got to correct myself on the last part. So the concrete didn't necessarily fail. The concrete company didn't do anything wrong problem is on the ticket that the concrete truck showed up for the spec that was in the concrete truck it said it was between a certain number of 80 plus or minus 20 but when they tested it was at 145 so concrete company saying yeah it's good go ahead but our engineer that we are paying to advise us is saying no so that's why these jobs are so frustrating sometimes all right time lapse start concrete we talked to them we informed they're going to take full responsibility for everything if within 20 days something happens, the tickets were just wrong, we're starting to write the right tickets now, we're good to go. Four's going good. This is truck number three, Brad? Three, yeah. Three. Out of seven. Brad and Jess are just down there pulling the stuff back to make it all nice and level. Engineers are gonna come in, do their test halfway, and then we'll keep pouring. Concrete come up against the filter cloth so it's nice and there's no void. What do you call that tool, Brad? Um, Fendo, I don't know. Is, is that custom or? No, 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 no. Bob. Oh, you bought that from Home Depot like that? Special order. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the pour portion is now done. So, what the guys are now working on is we ran over to the store, grabbed some long sticks with trowels on them, and what we're doing is going along the edge and smoothing this out. It's for a hydrophilic water stop. Which you guys will see once this dries up and we install it. But this is kind of crucial. We need to make this nice and smooth so that that water stop can actually sit nice and level. And we're staying about, you know, six inches out, a little further some suns, um, out from the wall. And they do want a rough finish on majority of it so that the next pour bonds to the concrete really well. All in all, it went really well for our first kind of concrete job. And it was a big one in my eyes, but uh, everyone did a good job and we're getting her done. All right, well, that's a wrap. We're gonna clean up, clean up all our tools. This is how she turned out. She looks awesome. Engineers, main guys are all happy. I'm happy, Brad's happy, perfect. So we're gonna head out. I didn't tell the guys yet, but I'm gonna take them for lunch today because they did a really good job. Super happy, super cool project, not a septic system, not something we've ever done. We're just growing and doing stuff that puts us outside our comfort zone. And uh, I think that's pretty awesome. So we'll keep going with that and go from there. Okay, so I know that a lot of you guys are definitely gonna watch that video that you just watched and go, oh, no rebar, no mesh. And I don't know if I explained that properly in the actual video but reasoning for that is that wasn't a structural piece so that is just a mass concrete fill project so no rebar or mesh was needed and as i explained earlier in the video there was a certain spec there was added fibers and aqua stuff it was just a whole nature of beast so i know there's gonna be a lot of comments people asking why there's no rebar and mesh and that is the reasoning everything is engineered and we just do what we're told Thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. A lot of support lately on the channel. You guys have been awesome. I read all the comments. I see all you guys. And without you guys watching the videos, there would be no me on YouTube or on Instagram or anything like that. So I want you guys to know that I really appreciate it. Honestly, it means so much you guys watch these videos. And make sure to catch us on the next one. Take care. And of course, 
I didn't forget about you guys, true Patreon channel. I watched the entire video to the very end, which is right now. We're currently on another job site right now. We're shooting the next video, which is an attachment on the end of that 308. So you guys are gonna have to stay tuned to that. We're doing a mass excavation right now. Of course, we're filming the entire thing. But if you guys watch the entire video to the very end, I want you guys to comment down below, fill her up. <laughs> Why comment down below, fill her up? Well, we basically did a mass fill concrete pour on that entire project. We got the boom truck in there, it turned out awesome. So if you guys watch the entire video to the end, comment down below, fill her up. I appreciate you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.